Good morning, love bugs. So I am currently out for a walk this morning. It's about 43 degrees. So it's kind of breezy out here. But I'm out getting me in a little exercise walk. Um, and I'm probably gonna run to the Dollar Tree. See what I can find today. But um, yeah, just out getting a little bit of exercise this morning. Um, I'll come back to you guys in a little while because we're gonna craft today. Well, not really craft, so I have cookies to make. And then um, I wanna try out these pretzel rods, the caramel uh, pretzel rods. So we're gonna do that today. And I'm going to bring you, uh, you guys along. All right, so we're gonna learn a new treat together today and hopefully um it'll come out right and then you guys will know how to do it and i'll know how to do it and you guys can make some fun treats for your family so i will be back with you guys in a little bit hey love bugs i am back i am back i am back all right so we are about to get prepared to do our little tutorial um as i said earlier um I wanted to try out the caramel pretzel rods, um, well, the chocolate caramel pretzel rods. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you guys as I do it. Um, so it'll be a little, like a little tutorial. This is my first time doing them. Um, and hopefully I can show you guys, teaching you guys in the process, okay? So that way you guys can learn a fun treat for your family. Or if you like to make treats, if you're a treat maker and you've never done them before, you know, here's a tutorial, okay? And we're about to learn together, all right? So what we're going to need today, all right? You're gonna need you some pretzel rods. Um, you can get them in a bag so there's not as many, but I have a uh, order coming up soon, so where I have to do pretzels for. So I have the big container, but you need to get you some pretzel rods, any brand. Um, and you're also gonna need you some caramel squares, okay? The craft caramel squares. Make sure you have the squares and not the bits because we're gonna need to stretch out those caramel to wrap around a pretzel. And then you can get chocolate whatever kind of chocolate you like um lately i've been using the almond bark chocolate almond bark that i've been getting from target um i find it to be the cheapest um i also get it at all these um at all these they are 2.99 i believe but um i just happened to look up and find some in target one day and um they're only a dollar 99 so i just want to some target okay and then you're also going to need you a cup okay get you a tall cup um, my cup is not very tall, um, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second, but you want to have a cup to melt your chocolate down and, okay, a tall enough cup so that you can dip your pretzel in, and then, um, you're going to want to have you a sheet with, like, some parchment paper or, um, like a big a cookie sheet or something with parchment paper or some kind of plate with some parchment paper or, um, just something to lay your pretzel on when it's done so they can dry, all right? So I'm going to gather up the rest of my stuff. I'm going to melt me up some chocolate and then I'm um, come back and we're going to get to doing this, y'all. All right, y'all. I am back. All right. I tried to get a decent setup. Um, yeah, I hope that y'all can see well. So I have my cup with my melted chocolate, okay? And some melted chocolate down. Let's see. Nice melted chocolate. So to melt your chocolate down, all you have to do is break off some pieces and put it in your cup. And just melt it on like 30 second intervals and keep stirring um, until it's nice and smooth. You don't want to burn the chocolate. So definitely do it at short intervals, okay? So just pulled out four of my pretzel sticks. I think I pulled out about 12 of the caramel squares. And I have me a pan over here with parchment paper to put the pretzels on so they can dry, okay? All right, so to start, I'm going to move my ring. Um, to start... I'm going to take you some caramel squares. Now, my pretzel rods are quite long, but as you can see, right, it's a lot taller um, than my cup. So, um, some people suggest that you do three caramel rods to make it, mm, caramel rods, <laughs> caramel squares to make it down the line for the pretzel. But because I know mine's, um, my chocolate won't go that far, I'm just going to use two squares, okay? So, take me two squares. Pop them open. I probably should have did that beforehand and save some time so this is not super long and drawn out. But what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze and squish them together, okay? And just going to work them. Mine are a little cold, so it might take me a second. But you're going to squish them together and just work them out enough so that you can stretch them, right? I'm going to get this all squeezed and you can see a little softened. I'm going to probably put them in the microwave for like a few seconds and literally a few seconds I wouldn't do it more than that because then 
It'll probably be too soft when it may burn. But all right, I'm gonna work this and then I'll be back, okay? All right, so once y'all have your chocolate all squished together and you know, to a point where you can squeeze it easily, what you're gonna do is just roll it, okay? I'm gonna give it a roll, roll it, and you probably wanna roll it on the table, unlike me. <laughs> um, I don't have a lot of space, so I'm doing pretty much in my hand, but you wanna roll it evenly. Roll it out, roll it out. So that you can wrap it around your pretzel. All right, roll it out and could probably definitely go a little bit longer. But like I said, um, I know my um, chocolate isn't gonna reach down the length of my pretzel. So that's where we're gonna stop, okay? All right, so what you do then is you take your pretzel you want to start right at the very top and just press your pretzel, I mean, your pretzel, <laughs> press the caramel onto your pretzel a little bit and you can start twisting, all right? And just going to go around and you can do it as loose or as tight as you want. Mine is going to be pretty loose. Um, all right. And that's probably about as far as my chocolate is going to make it up my pretzel anyway, so let's see. Uh, maybe I should do it that way. So yeah, that's about right. All right. So that's how we're looking. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other pretzels, and then I'll meet y'all back right here so that we can start dipping. Okay. Or you know what? I'll do one more so you guys can see it, and then um, let me get these. Over. All right. So I'll do one more. And then I'm going to come back and then we're going to dip together. All right, you guys. That's if you're working with me or whatever, you know. All right, so get those nice and soft. Mash them up, mash them up. Try to get it rolled nice and even if you can. Pressing down and out. Pressing down and outward. Maybe next tutorial. <laughs> I have a better setup. Or actually have my um my ring light set up so that this works out a little bit better. Because my um I have a part on my ring light that's cracked, y'all. So have to get a new one or put a little bit of magic on it <laughs> and try to fix it. Some Gorilla Glue or something. I don't know, y'all. All right. I think this might be shorter than my last one, but we're just going to rock with it. Take it. Take your pretzel. Press it on a little bit so it's sticking. And wrap it. And wrap it. And wrap it. And like I said, you can wrap it as loose or as tight as you like. But I know mine aren't that long, so I want to make sure it fits down as far as I need it to. And that is the second one. So there's our two. I'm going to do the other two off camera, and I will meet you back here today. All right, so I'm back. Got all four of my pretzel rods ready. I had to pull out another one because I pressed too hard, right? And I broke one of my pretzels. <laughs> so had to um get me out a new rod but so that's one thing y'all don't press too hard when you when you're trying to get it to stick and um before you start wrapping around because your pretzel will work <laughs> all right i don't know if you can see my pan i got my pan off to the side um to set my pretzels on after i dip and now i got crumbs all over from the salt from the pretzels but that's okay all right y'all so Get rid of that spoon. I'll make sure your chocolate is nice and smooth. Okay. And then I'm just going to set that off to the side. And we're going to go on with our first pretzel. Okay. So you can, if you have a tall enough cup, you won't have to tilt. But since my cup is not very tall, I'm going to tilt my cup just a little bit. And right down into the chocolate. Okay. I hope y'all can see. 
right down into the chocolate and I'm just gonna give it a little twist a little twist all right and then when you come out that chocolate you want to tap all of the excess off so you're not dripping so be careful not to break your pretzel <laughs> Nice tap. Nice tap, nice tap. Sorry if y'all can hear my kids yelling like crazy people. Little twirl. All right, and that's how we're gonna look. And we wanna lay that right on your pan. Let to, uh, to dry or harden up, okay? I'm gonna do that same process with um, your next part, so I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer for this one. Okay, we got the chocolate. Put that on the tilt. All right, and you're just gonna give it a twirl. If you have a taller cup, you won't have to do this, but since my cup is kind of short, just make sure that chocolate is covering all of your caramel. Pull it out, and just tap to get all of that excess chocolate off. Okay. All of that excess chocolate. I'm going to tap it so you don't have so much drippage. Give it a little twirl, kind of. Okay. When you don't have a lot dripping, you can swipe the cup a little bit if you want. Okay. That's how we're looking. Oh, I got some drip on my back. Got some drip. Sorry, y'all. I went out the camera view. But that's how it looks. And on to our parchment paper. All right, so I'm going to do my last two, and then I will come back. This is how they're looking. Not bad for a first try. Definitely want to get your caramel nice and uniform so you have a nice, even look. And when they're drying, um, make sure you got that top side up. I got chocolate on my finger. Um, I laid that one down the wrong way accidentally. But they're looking good, so they're still wet. This is the stage where if you want to add any kind of topping, a cookie crumb, or sprinkles, or anything of that sort, you want to do that now. Now, if you plan on doing, like, um, stripes with, like, a different color chocolate, you can do that after they dry. But this is the stage where you would add any kind of cookie crumbs or anything like that. Um, I do have some toffee, and, um, I do have a little bit of cookie crumbs. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jazz up two of my pretzels, and I'll show y'all what they look like in a second. All right, y'all. So, here's my additions. I had it some um chocolate and vanilla cookie crumbs okay that's what i sprinkle on this one and then this one has some um toffee bits on it all right so you can leave them out to finish setting but what i usually do is like to stick them in the fridge or the freezer so that they can set up really quickly so that i can keep moving in the process because especially if you're doing toppings you can't do too many at one time because you want to make sure you get your toppings on before that chocolate does dry so i'm gonna stick these in the fridge and i'm gonna come back and we're gonna look at the final final product okay so I cleaned up my mess just a tad bit. Um, and here are dried pretzels. They sat in the freezer for maybe 10 minutes. If that. Um, nice and dry. This is what they look like. Um, this one's a little bit messy. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, this was definitely good for a first try, I believe. Um, you can see where my caramel wasn't very uniform on this one. But for the most part, we did a really good job. But that's the process, you guys, okay? That is the process. So now, if you want to make some fun treats for your family, for your next event, you know how to do it, okay? Try it out. Try it out. Show me. Um, Let me know how y'all's turned out. You can leave me some pictures on, uh, in the well, not in the comments. Can you do that? <laughs> I don't know, y'all. But if you try it, let me know how they turn out, okay? Um. Or you can find me on Instagram, you know, and send me some pictures on Instagram. I'll check it out. My Instagram will be in my description box. Uh, uh, my Instagram will be in my description box along with all of the um, products you need to make these pretzels, okay? Everything you need to make the pretzels. And I, I love to see what you guys come up with. Um, I'm definitely going to do these again and, of course, make some really pretty ones, some different colors, stripes, and all that good stuff. But this is my first try along with you guys so yeah time to take some pictures and make them look pretty for a thumbnail you know what i'm saying <laughs> all right y'all i hope that y'all enjoyed this video i'm here <laughs> i hope that y'all enjoyed this video okay what you say you said try one try one we need to try them out and see how they taste we're supposed to have all this chocolate now y'all
All right, I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna try one for y'all. I'm, I'm gonna try it. Which one? Y'all want the cookie or the toffee? Cookies or toffee? I like toffee bits, so we're gonna try this toffee one, okay? Ooh, that's pretty. Oh no, y'all, we can't do that yet. I'm gonna take the ugly one without nothing on there because I need to take my pictures. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take a bite of the ugly one. <laughs> oh, that's the back of it because, you know, it lays flat to dry. So that's how the back of it looks. Um, yeah. And if you need packaging, if you go on Amazon, they have a little self-sealed pretzel packet. So if you um, go in there and you search um, packaging for pretzel rods, they'll come up. They'll instantly come up. All right, so let's try it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is so good, y'all. Mm. All right. That's enough. I didn't get these to my kids. <laughs> That's enough. All right, I'll catch you on my next video. Leave me some thumbs up. All that good stuff. Um, make sure leave me some comments. Send you guys positive vibes for a positive week or day or whatever. And I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.